Hi, everybody. It's so good to talk to you. This is Joanna with Moonwater Tarot. And I just wanted to talk to you very briefly, so please watch this portion. Don't just jump to the reading. All right, regarding these daily readings, what I am finding when I look at my analytics is I can do like a 14-minute video, and you guys, on average, are watching about eight minutes of it. So obviously some are watching the whole thing and other people are watching like three minutes and they're like, forget this, and they move on. And you are missing the whole message. So I think what's important is that I separate the birthday reading and the daily reading. And if you're not interested in the birthday reading, because probably the majority of you do not have a birthday that day, um, but, you know, if I affect one person, it's, you know, that means a lot to me. So it's hard for me to just throw away the birthday readings and give those up. Um, since I was in my 20s on uh, my birthday, I've been getting a birth, like a tarot birthday reading. So I always told myself if I ever did dailies, I would integrate a birthday message. But I'm finding out that some of the energies are a bit confusing to people. So starting today, March 5th, I'm going to separate him. I'm going to see how it goes. And we'll just take it from there. Okay, let's get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome to your daily tarot message for March 5th. 2017. I did release the birthday reading. They had a beautiful reading. You may want to check it out just because often the energies really in my readings um, sometimes correlate. Um, but like I said, with the watch times and some people were getting a bit confused. So just this way it separates it. So let's see what these cards have to say. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting something about uh, cleansing or blockage. And I feel like some of you are getting rid of things that aren't allowing you to move forward. Okay, March 5th, March 5th. Let's take a look here. Let me angle this down a little bit. March 5th. All right, we have the Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness, the Ace of Swords. I will freak out if there's another Ace. Okay, the Queen of Cups. All right. So let me uh, move my tripod. We will get started with this. Wow. So we have the Ace of Wands, which is a one. We have the, and, and this is fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And then the Queen of Cups, which is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I am getting so many different messages right now that I'm trying to focus on what is the most important. I feel for some of you, when I get two aces, the obviously aces represent the, the ability to create or develop something new. So this could be a partnership, whether it's a friendship, a new job. This could be a partnership in terms of maybe partnering up with somebody in the workplace. This could be like a merger at work, but this can definitely be a new relationship. Now, for some of you, I feel with two aces that there may be two things that are developing at the same time. And with the Queen of Cups here, she kind of, or he, is kind of moving away from this. So this could be that there is uh, some time needed, um, some self-reflection. 
And, you know, I was getting cleansing and water is very cleansing, especially ocean water with the salt. So I feel like there's something that, you know, might be retreating to kind of, uh, maybe you have a decision to make between two opportunities or two paths to go down or two people. And maybe one's a fire sign and one's an air sign. But balance is going to be key. Maybe there's a situation too that you're very fiery, you know, you're creative, you're passionate, you've got that adventurous feeling about. And then there's another situation where it's more cognitive, more factual, more logical. And, um, and so you're possibly torn of what path to go down. But for some of you, I do in a very positive way feel like this could be you and somebody else and a union is forming and especially with the Queen of Cups here, that it could be new love is coming in. I'm getting that these two aces is that your relationship is possibly moving to a new level. I also am getting this though. With the Ace of Swords, you know, usually the Ace of Swords is in the upright position. But for me, I feel like the fact that it's also upside down uh, which doesn't really negate it, but this is also in my challenge position. So I feel like for somebody out there, there's a situation where I'm getting like cooling off. I don't know if something needs to be cooled off or there's a cooling off period, or maybe you find yourself kind of removing or withdrawing, or maybe they're removing or withdrawing a little bit. I think they or you are getting a different perspective, looking at things from a different point of view. And I feel like it's it's important that you that you look at the situation. I'm getting second opinion or maybe asking somebody. This can also represent a, a, somebody that's in a supportive role. So I feel like you've got support around you. So you might be asking you know, or taking stock and really self-reflecting. And this is what's going to help is to not only find balance because they're, you're very balanced in this situation, but also listening to your inner guidance, your own intuition to possibly sort through this. So this could even be possibly, you know, you might be very happily married, but there's a situation in the workplace or maybe there's a health situation that you got to, you know, you're 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 getting somebody else's thoughts or opinions uh to to see what they, you know, are thinking or get their support because that's there's something about support that I feel like is important. Somebody is going on a, a, a like a, a retreat, a spiritual retreat, and possibly there is a wedding situation. Like it might be your wedding. Uh, if it is, congratulations, but you may be attending a wedding and maybe there's a possibility of meeting somebody through this wedding or this trip or this travel. But balance is going to be key. So if you're starting two things at once, just don't get overwhelmed, you know, take a break. And I feel like you will be successful with this beautiful card here. I was gonna do this. I wanted to pull a card here. I do wanna say this in um, the birthday reading, we got uh, new love. So let's just see what comes up here. March 5th, March 5th, what this one, passion, <laughs> which makes me think of the wand here that I was talking about passion. Okay, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Oh, what a beautiful card. 
Okay, that's really interesting because we've got allow your heart, which to me cups represent the heart. And uh, we've got passion here, which rep is represented by the wand. And when I think of singing, I, it, to me, that's communication, which also represents the swords. So I think all in all, it's a very beautiful reading. And there is the possibility of a lot of passion and new beginnings. Let me just angle this down so you can see it. Um, and choices for some of you, you know, these, these messages may relate to you. They may not, but, uh, just take what resonates. Hopefully it does. Uh, you know, when reading for so many people, it doesn't always happen. Anyway, have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye.